Hello and welcome back everybody. I haven't done a video in a long time because uh, really I ran out of things to say that Scott Manley didn't already say. <laughs> Props to him. But he recently um, he recently talked about a 60OF device on his stream and he said he doesn't really know what it is. So I happen to own one. It's this little thing, you should see it um, on screen if I didn't screw up editing. And here you see it in the settings, 6 DOF means 6 directions of freedom. You um, can um, adjust some uh, the acceleration and the sensitivity on the controller here as you move it. And it's really, really sensitive. If you're getting one, you should really drop this number very, very low. About seven is okay, but it's still fast. You will see what I mean in a second. Okay, so the first thing, you can move your camera with the 60OF device freely in every six directions of freedom. I'll show you in a second. It, it also works in your start screen as you can do with the mouse you can also do with the 60OF and the really awesome thing is you can just fly through everything you can move freely around to the side up down you can rotate it doesn't matter and in the vehicle assembly building the same rules apply and that's a really really helpful tool Especially if you're building ginormous ships <laughs> and you have to attach a strut at a very tiny corner Which you will most likely not be uh, Able to see otherwise and here you can see you can just freely move around uh, Everything you can turn upside down if you want it doesn't matter you can go as far deep as the kerbals and you can move around with the kerbals and watch them doing crazy stuff yeah you screwed up nothing buddy and let's go for a launch let's let's just fire up a standard kerbal x so we're close to our apple apps and I'll show you how to steer by, ro by pressing the roll button on your keyboard you change to flight control and you can take control of your craft with the 60OF device but as it turns out it's really really bad for steering because it's so sensitive um, you have trouble not to oversteer and to steer uh, in another direction in general because you will tend to uh, rotate as you want to move lateral and stuff I'll just show you with some RCS you can translate and roll with your RCS but as you try to move with your RCS you will almost certainly uh, accidentally accidentally move in another direction and that's really really terrible you can lock um, to roll only and lateral only and you can switch between them in flight but to be honest it's not that useful to me for steering because the keyboard is very very precise if you want to dock stuff and for flying well I use a HOTAS that's way better so is it worth the trouble? Well, it's a lot of money, but if you're creating YouTube content, it's worth it. If you're just a player and you want to take some awesome screenshots and you don't care about the few bucks, just spend them at this. It's really cool. But for the, for the regular user, it's not that useful. Just for your information, before you waste a hundred bucks on it, I wanted to tell you <laughs> so with this I'll end it we'll see you when my next video will come up thank you for watching and I hope I see you next time
Bye.